So page 127, right? Right. And we'll start from the last line of the previous page, which is, Ushmuel Amar, Arba Vechamesh, the expression four or five, Kid Amri, Inche. That's just how people speak. Full stop, let's go on to the next mission. <laughs> Apparently, according to this morning's session, the whole battle is really between yeah. uh, Shmuel and Rav Chisda. Aha. Okay. The e bae a filotuva nami mefani. But if one wants, even more than five can be cleared away. Umaya valo et ha otsar. And what is but not the store. Shelo kulo, that one should not finish clearing it out entirely, which would expose the floor. Is that what you've got there? Lest he come to level the floor. Right. By filling the holes. Dilma ate l'ashuye gumot. All right, lest he come to level the holes. Aval at hule matchil, but one may begin from so but one may begin. Oh this is something a bit different. One may it? begin removing baskets from the store. Umani, and whose view is this? Rabbi Shimon he the late lay mukte. It is Rabbi Shimon who does not hold mukta or the broad mukta. Yeah. That makes sense. Tan Rabbanan Ain matchilim ba otsar tchila, we not, may not begin uh, taking from an unused store. So that's a baraisa. Aval osse bosh vil kadeshi kanes vite, but one may make a path through it so that he can enter and leave. So he can move around the boxes so he can get through it. Mm. Which would. This is, if we're talking about the store, but. Uh, Nothing's been, uh, no supplies have ever been taken out of the storeroom before. If one has never taken supplies from this storeroom, mm -hmm. he may not begin moving baskets from it. Um, but, so it would also necessarily mean that they would clear all the way to the floor. Probably. Okay. Ose Boschville. One may make a path through it. But you just said we cannot begin. Meaning we can't begin to take produce from an unused store. Because it's mukta. Hachi kamar. This is what the Bryson means. Ose boshvil. Beraglav bichnisato vitsiato. One may make a path through it with his legs when he enters and when he leaves. So you can kick it to the side, I yeah. suppose. Tan Rabbanan. Uh, I raised an objection this morning yes. that, about that saying that if he does that, he's uh, in danger of digging holes and uh, scraping the floor. Ah, like and dragging a mm, chair or and, something. And uh, the reply was given to me that it, as it was done without any intention of doing any of that, there's no problem. It's probably the same argument yeah. for the moving the chair. Yeah. And dragging the bench. Tan Rabbanan, a Baraisa, was taught by the rabbis. Tvu'a Tvura, piled grain. Bizman Shahid Khilma Ba Me'erev Shabbat, when one started taking from the pile before Shabbat. Mutar lehistapek mimena be Shabbat. It's permitted to take provisions from it on Shabbat. The im lavasu lehistapek mimena be Shabbat. And if he didn't start taking from it before Shabbat, it's forbidden to take provisions from it on on Shabbat. Divrei Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Acha matir. So Rabbi Acha permits taking regardless. Yeah. Why would you take grain on Shabbat? What for? Well, I was thinking of that. Because you can't process it. Right. No. But maybe you can soak it and make it edible that way. Maybe. Or maybe you look just like eating. Ah, Rashi, said, Rashi says to feed his animal. Ah, true. 
course, that gets back to the Mishnah itself. What are the things that you can move? You can need move straw and grain. Straw is for your for it definitely for your animal to eat, and grain is possible for people to eat. Kalafe laya. So towards where? What does that mean? What have you got for kalafe laya? Um. Da, 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 da. Yes, on the contrary, Rava, amend the Brasa. No, this is before this. Yes. Ah, oh, is this? Yes, this is what it is. Ah, sorry. We had the statement of Rava. Oh, no, oh, it means on the contrary. On the contrary is just what I just said. Ah, sorry. Sorry. So, on the contrary, Kalafelaya. So, Rabbi Yacha permits. And okay. then. And that permits doing so. The Gemara raises a difficulty. On the contrary, it is Rabbi Shimon, uh, Shimon who is lenient with regard to the halachot of uh, Mukta. Right. Rather, amend the price. Ah, so. that makes a lot more sense now. Because I was thinking the same thing. Rabbi Shimon all of a sudden says we're forbidden, but he was always the one that permitted. Clap mm. uh, uh, on the contrary, Ella Ema rather say Divrei Rabbi Acha. Uh, the beginning should be the words of Rabbi Acha, the Rabbi Shimon Matir, and it's Rabbi Shimon that permits. Tana Abraisa, Kama Shiur Tfua Tzvura. What is the amount that makes piled grain? Uh, need uh, how much is the measure of piled grain needed to confer? The legal status of a story. Ah. Ah. Letech. Do you have a, a he measurement of letech? is a half core. Um, piled grain. Where are we? Okay. Someone probably explain this halacha with regard to piled grain is only according to Rav Chisna. The halacha is in accordance with the opinion of Rav Chisna. However, according to Shmuel, who holds that the halacha is in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Shimon, there is no prohibition of set aside the mukta, and piled grain is not prohibited. Several gay on him cited this halacha as proof for Rav Chester's opinion. The gay on him added that the measurement mentioned in the Gemara corresponds to the measurement mentioned in the Jerusalem Talmud. Jerusalem Talmud states that each basket may weigh three sayer, which means that the five baskets equal 15 sayer, which is half of a core or a letich. Mm -hmm. But what, what actual weight that is, I have no idea. And we're not given an idea. It just says five boxes worth. But yeah, okay. Volume consisting of 30 se'a. <laughs> and then it'll be the so we've got 15. <laughs> what did I say? 30 se'a? Yeah, well, so this is a half call, so 15 se'a. Six calves. <laughs> so it's half a, half a, it's three calves, right? Calves. Sayer, and we're talking about 15 sayer. So if there's six, so he's over. The cub is for Lugin. <laughs> <laughs> Lugin? Where's Lugin? Here we are, I think. Lugin. Ah! Finally. Um, so a cub is for Lugin, and Lugin. Is the volume of the liquid measure of the volume of six eggs, <laughs> which is between sixteen to twenty one ounces contemporary in contemporary measure. So it's about twenty ounces. So twenty 
20 ounces how many times? I've got some to get. <laughs> get out I'd have to go backwards now. <laughs> okay. It'll probably tell us right now. Ba'amine Rav Nechumi Bar Zachari Ma'abaye. So Rav Nechumi Bar Zachari inquired of Abaye. She urtzvuat for Rav Chama. What's the amount that makes pile grain? Amale Hare Amru. She urtzvuat for a letter. Indeed, they said the amount of pile grain is a letter. So he confirms. Ibaye lehu. They inquired, Hane Arba Bechamesh Kupot de Kamar. These four or five boxes that was that were mentioned. Be Arba Bechamesh Kupot ain't Felo. Only in four or five boxes. So you can move only in four or five boxes, but not in a greater number. So therefore, you can do it in. Can you do it in more trips? So you can move it in four or five boxes. Mm. I suppose so you don't exert yourself. Well, it goes on. Oh, yeah. Alma adif. Thus, it is better to reduce the amount of walking, which unfortunately increases the weight of each load, or dilma lama utse masoi adif. Or perhaps it is better to reduce the weight of each load. That's a good question. And make more trips. Tashma, come and learn. Detane Chada, one Baraisa teaches. Mefanin afilu arba vechamesh kupot shel kade shemen veshel kade yain. We may clear away even four or five boxes of jugs of oil or of jugs of wine. Okay. Vetanya idach, and another Baraisa teaches. Be'eser uvachamesh esre in ten or fifteen. <coughs> My love b'ha kamiflage is it not that the Bryces argue with regard to the following? The master of a matutze behilucha adif that one master holds that reducing the walking is better, or master of a matutze b'masoi adif and the other master holds that reducing the load is better. Right. That doesn't clarify anything. Just restate That's it. the basis of the disagreement. Ah. Law. Go no. on, we go. So, the Gemara rejects this law. No. Everyone agrees, both prices that would be, that reducing the walking is preferable. Umi, <coughs> excuse me. Umi. <coughs> Savrat be'esova chamesh esre akupot ka'e. And do you think that in 10 or 15 refers to the boxes? Akadin ka'e, it refers to the number of jugs within the boxes. Have you got that? Yeah. The lokasha, and there's no contradiction. Ha demishtakle chad chad bekupa. This one, the first one, is where they can be transported only one at a time in a box. That would be the jugs, I assume. Vahad mishtakle tre tre. And this one, where it said ten jugs, is where they can be transported two at a time in a large box. Vahad mishtakle tlata tlata. And this <coughs> second brace where it says fifteen, is where they can be transported three at a time in the box. Over dik. Uve dikure de harpanya, such as in the small jugs of harpanya. Right. <sighs> that's, I think that's really reaching. What do you think, Peter? Come on. Maybe they're right. I don't think we've resolved the problem really yet. You know, I mean. It, it's a way of reconciling all these statements. So essentially they haven't changed the idea of moving four or five no. boxes. No. Because in, now we're just talking exactly. now they just talk about what's inside mm. the boxes and and really the weight. And they're they're trying to reconcile the fact that we we've talked about five, ten, fifty with the fact that you can only take five boxes. Yeah. 
Right. Ibailahu, they inquired. Hane arba v'chamesh kamar. These four or five that were mentioned in the Mishnah. Afal gadi itle orchin tova. Even, uh, is this even where he has many guests? Ah. Remember, we're moving to accommodate the guests. In the Beit Midrash or in the home. Mm, or in the storeroom that's part of the home. So, it could be that it's four or five per person, for example. Or is yeah. it four and five in total? Okay. Or Dilma Hakolefi Haorchin. Or perhaps it depends on number of guests. The Imtim say Lomar Hakolefi Haorchin. And if you conclude and say it all depends on the number of guests, Chad gavra mepane lechulhu. May one person clear away for all of them? Or dilma gavra gavra mepane lenafshe. Or perhaps each person clears away for himself. Which would be, say, five boxes per person, for example. Or maybe one box per person, depending on the size of the boxes or baskets or containers that you're talking about. That's interesting, though, isn't it? Because, because if there are if you say one, and then there's 15 people, then you can clear out 15 boxes. Remembering that you've got to leave some box, boxes over, or just one box. Remember, you can never move all, everything. You know, right. You know, four out of five, or ah, okay. I two like out that. of three. That's, that's or, why it says four out of five. Four or five. Well, that was one of the explanations why it said four out of five. The principle came from that was that if you had three, you could you could only move two, and if you had six, you could only move five, etc. You know, if we were to actually work out how big one of these boxes are, and we could work that out based on from the, the volume, from the volume, then we might find, like if we actually made a box like that and stacked them up, that it would be unsafe. To to make it any more any higher than five correct or four even mm. like four might be on yeah that's the car. might be way to say four or five isn't that interesting that's possible okay you could make that a project and then publish it as a project I've got a project uh, or perhaps each person clear the way for himself right did I say that. Right. Yes. Tashma. Come learn. Dama Rabba Amar Rabbi Dama Rabba Amar Rabbi Chia. Rabbi said in the name of Rabbi Chia. Pamachat halach Rabbi lemakom echad. One time Rabbi went to a certain place. That would be elect. He made electron Shabbos. I've got here. Ve'ra'a makom dachok dachuk letalmidim, and he saw that the place was cramped. For the disciples, the Yatsale Sade or Matse Sade Melea Omarim. So we went out to the fields and found a field filled with bundles. The Ime Rabbi Kol Hasade Kula and Rabbi cleared away the entire field. And then in brackets. Bundles of grain, according to him. Bundles of grain. Ah. Filled with bundles of grain, right. In brackets, Shmamina Hakole Fiharachin. Learn from this that all depends on the number of guests. The Rav Yosef Amar Rav Hoshaya, Rav Yosef said in the name of Rav Hoshaya, Pamachat halach Rabbi Chia lemakom echad, Vera'a, Because after removing all according to the number of guests, yeah. this continues, and still you have a dilemma. Does one man move the baskets to make room for all of them, or perhaps each and every man moves baskets uh, to make room for himself? Well, it seems to imply here that Rebbe moved them all. Uh, well, this, this is the question on what happened, because then you get the answer. Come and hear a resolution to this question. Tashma. So we, okay, so we say it's still unresolved. Mm. So we're going to provide a further, yeah. a further, a similar report. But Rav Yosef Amar Rav Hoshaya, Pamachat halach Rabbi Chiyah lemakom echad ve'ra'amakom dachok letalmidim 
Vyasela Sade Umatsa Sade Melea Omarim. So he went into the field and found a field filled with bundles of grain. Vimer Rabbi Chia Kol Hasade Kola. And Rabbi Chia cleared away the entire field. That seems to be the same as Rabbi. Hmm. I think we've got two different texts. Texts. So let's go to let's go to Varav. This is Varavaman. Varavaman. Tashma Vime Rabbi. Again, today we. How does it go? Does it go from here to here? Or no. here to here? No, it goes from there to there. Tashma Dama Rabbi Ama Rabbi Siya Pama Makom Tachokus Hamit Viyatela Sade Umatza Sade Melea Omarim Ve'imer Rabbi Kol Hasade Kula Right, that's what we had. The Rabbi Yosef Ama Rabbi Yoshaya That's Rabbi Chia Where's the one with Rabbi? Tashma Dama Rabba Pamacha a Rabbi, okay, so Rabba said to Rabbi Chia, Rabbi went out. Rabbi went to the place. Yeah. So this is Rabbi. Okay. Now we've got Rabbi Yosef and Rabbi Hoshe, and they said, Rabbi Chia, Lama Komechev, Rabbi Makom de Chok, 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 Lama Komechev, Rabbi Makom that it all depends on the number of guests. Yeah. Meaning when it says five boxes, it, it's like saying five boxes per guest. That would seem to... That's what it says to me. Is that what it's saying to you, Peter? Um, I don't think it's saying anything in regard to quantity in that way. I think it's just saying that at this point... Hi, Peter. Hi. Good help. The Rabbi Yosef Amar Rabbi Hoshaya. Pama Chatalach Rabbi Chia Lamakom Echad. The Rama Kom Dachuk Blatel Midim, and he saw the place was too cramped for the disciples. The Atala Sadeu Matzah Sadeu Melea Omarim. He went out to the field and found a field filled with bundles. The Imer Rabbi Chia Kol Hasade Kula. Rabbi Chia cleared away the entire field. Shmamina Hakol Efi Haorchin. Learn from this. It all depends on the number of guests. But you can still inquire whether one person may clear away all, or Dilma Kol Gavra Vagavra Mefane Lenashe, or perhaps each person clears away for himself. Tashma, come learn. The Imer Rabbi, so Rebbe cleared away. So that's a quote. The Imer Rabbi, so Rebbe cleared away, which implies he did it himself. Ulatamech Rabbi be denafshe imer. And according to your reasoning, Rabbi himself cleared away, which would not be befitting. Ela siva the imer. Rather, he instructed to clear away bundles. Ula alam kol chad vechad mefane lenafshe. In fact, each one clears away for himself. Mipne ha orchim vechule. So back in the mission, it said one may clear away. Because of guests, or because of um, misuse of the study hall, one may move baskets of produce, the produce due to the guests, and in order to prevent the suspension of Torah study in the study. Beautiful. Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Gedola Hafna Sasar Achin Kahash Kamat Beit Hamidrash. Receiving guests is as great as rising early to the study hall. For the Mishnah states, because of guests or because of the... What word have you got there? Due to the guests and due to suspension. Ah, suspension of the study hall where they wouldn't be able to attend. Because of the mess. 
Mehashkamat Beit HaMidrash and Ragdimi from Neadeh says um, receiving guests is greater than rising early to come to the study hall. Dekatane Mipneha, is that right? Yep. Dekatane Mipneha Orchin, for the Mishnah states, because of guests first. Vadamu Mipneha Bitor Beit HaMidrash. And only then afterwards, or because of of suspension of the study hall. Amar of Yod Amar of Gedol of Ahachna Sator Achim Mehakablat Pnei Shechina Receiving guests is greater than greeting the Divine Presence. Dichtiv, as it says, where does it say it? Where is it? Yep. Where the, the preceding two verses relate how God appeared to Abraham while he was sitting at the entrance mm-hmm. to his tent and then Abraham saw... It's when the three, three angels, three angels are out. Great heaven of you. As when Abraham invited his guests, it is written, and he said, Lord, if now I have found favour in your sight, please pass not from your servant. Right. Well, you mean while he attended to the guests? Amar mm. Rabbi Elazabo or Eshelok Midat Hakadosh Baruch Hu Midat Basavadam. Rabbi Lazar said, "Come and observe how unlike the way of the of Hakadosh Baruch Hu is the way of man of flesh and blood. Midat Basavadam, according to the way of flesh and blood, En Katan Yachol Lama Lagadol Hamtain Ad She Avo Etzlecha. One of lower lower station cannot tell one of higher station. Wait, and I'll come back to you." The ilu ba'kadosh baruch hu k'tiv ve'yomar Hashem im nama tzati ve'gomer. Whereas with regard to hakadosh baruch hu, it says, and Avram said, "My Lord, if I've now found favor, etc., etc." Amar Rav Yehuda bar Shil, Amar Rabbi Asi, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Shishat varim adam ochel peratehen be'olam hazeh. There are six precepts. There are six matters. A six matters. Enjoys the profits of in this world. The hakaren kayemet lo leolam haba, but the principle remains intact for him in the world to enjoy in the world to come. Hakaren uh, is also glory. So there's glory. What's your interpretation of that? But the the hakaren kayemet lo leolam haba, and the principle exists for him in the world. To come. Mm. The Hebrew word is karen, which it means glory, doesn't it? Not all like the. It can mean various things. I mean, it can mean a horn. Mm. I've never heard it used as principle, though. But anyway. I've seen this in English before, and it mentions principle okay. in the sense of the main amount you've invested. Ah, oh, the principle. Yeah, ah. that's the way. That's right. The Elohen, these are the six. Hachna Sarochi in receiving guests. Uvikurchol in visiting the sick. The Iyun Tfila in concentrating during prayer. The Hashkamat Beit Hamidrash in rising early to come to the study hall. The Hamegadel Danav Latomi Torah, one who raised his children to study Torah. The Hadan Et Chavero Lechaf Zchut, and one who judges his fellow favorably. Any, is this so? Vahan Antanam, while we learned in the Mishnah, Elazarim Shadar Seb Otam, these are the precepts that a person performs them, that a person performs them. The Ochel Perotim Balam Hazet, and enjoys their fruits in this world, by Karen Kamed, Lola Lam Haba, while the principle remains intact for him in the world to come. Ah, so you enjoy the fruits in this world, and the principle remains intact. So you've got the interest here that the Main investment is there in heaven waiting for you. The Elohim, Kibud Av Vaem, honoring father and mother, Ug Milot Chasidim, and bestowing kindness, Vahava As Shalom Shebein Adam Lechavero, and bringing peace between one person and another. But Talmud Torah can equal Kulam, and studying Torah is equal to all of them. Hane Ein Midi Acharina Lo. So these four, yes, but other things. They don't have this quality. Hane nami bahane shayechi. These 
precepts of Rabbi Yochanan are also related to those are related to those in the Mishnah. Uh-huh. Six precepts listed by Rabbi Yochanan are receiving guests, visiting sick, concentrating during prayer, rising early to attend study hall, raising one's children to study Torah, and judging one's fellow favorably. The first two precepts, receiving guests and vis- visiting the sick are clearly included in bestowing kindness, number two in the Mishnah's list. Similarly, concentrating during prayer is a form of bestowing kindness, for it's written in Mishlei, one who bestows goodness to himself is a man of kindness. And he translates it as the Gemara answer. These two, hospitality towards guests and visiting the sick, are in the category of acts of loving kindness. A different version of that answer, these matters uh, attributable to those, the matters on the shorter list. Tana Rabba. Oh. Tana Rabba Nan. A brice from the rabbis. Hadan Chaveiro Lechaf Dechut Danin Otoliz Chut. One who judges his fellow man favorably is himself judged favorably. And there was the incident involving a certain man, Shearad Migalil Ha'elion, who went down from the upper Galilee, the Niskar Etzel Ba'al Habait Echad Bedarom Shaloshanim, and entered the employee of a particular homeowner in the south for three years. Erev Yom HaKippurim, on the end of Yom Kippur, after the three years of work that would be, Amalo, the worker said to the homeowner, Tenli Schari, Give me my wages for Elech Azun et Ishtil Vana, and I'll go and provide for my wife and children. Amalo ein li maot. I have no money. Amalo ten li perot. So give me my wages in produce. Amalo ein li. He said to them, said to the worker, I've got nothing. I have none. Ten li karka. Give me land. Ein li. I don't have any land. Ten li behema. Give me livestock. Ein li. The employee said, I have none. Ten li karim uchsatot. And give me pillows and cushions. Ainly, I have not. He shall kelav lacharav. The worker put his belongings on his back. Bahalach levitol bethachei nefesh and returned home dejectedly. Lachar haregel. After the vessel natal balabait scharo beyado. The homeowner took the wages. Which is the festival of Sukkot, according to. Ah, yes. Aha, uh-huh. yeah, that's what I've got here too. Scharab he took the wages in his hand, the imo masoy shlosha chamorim, along with three donkey loads of goods, echad shel ma'achal, one for food, ve echad shel mishter, one of drink, ve echad shel minem megadim, and one of sweet del- various sweet delicacies, ve'alach lo levetor, and travelled to the worker's house in the Up Galilee, achar shachlu ve'shatu natan lo scharo, after they had eaten and drunk, he paid the worker his wages. Amalo, he said to the worker, Beshasha mata li ten li schari. When you said to me, give me my wages, va mati en li maot, and I said, I have no money. Ba me chashadatani. Of what did you suspect me? Amati, the worker said, replied, I said to myself, Shema prakmatia bezol nizdamna lechav lakarta bahen. Perhaps. Underpriced merchandise came your way, and you brought it with your with that money that you would have paid me otherwise. Or amati li tenli behema, and when you said give me my livestock, vamati enli behema, and I said to you I have no livestock, but me chashadatani. Or what did you suspect me? Uh, amati, the worker replied, shema muskeret biyadacherim. Perhaps I were leased to other people at the time. Beshasha Mata Li Tenli Kaka, when you said to me, Give me land, Vamati Lachaini Kaka, Bame Hashadatani, Amati Shema Mukheret Biad Acharim He, I said to myself, Perhaps the land was leased to others. Or Vashasha Mati Lachaini Pira, when I said, Yeah, I have no produce, Bame Hashadatani, Amati, I said to myself, Shema Enan Ma Meu Sarot. Perhaps the produce was not tithed, in which case he couldn't have touched it. Yeah. So the employee t- 
continued, when I said to you, I have no pillows or cushions of what did you suspect me? I said to myself, perhaps my employer has consecrated all his possessions to heaven. Oh, he's made them hekdesh. Yeah. The employer explained to him and What, I read this translation. Yeah, what's the, what did he explain to him? He said to him, I swear by the temple service ah. that it was so. Ah. I had no money available at the time because I vowed and consecrated all my property on account of Hyacarnas, my son, who did not engage in Torah study. The homeowner sought to avoid leaving an inheritance for his son. And when I came to my fellow residents in the south, the sages of that generation... They dissolved all my vows. At that point, the homeowner had immediately gone to pay his worker. Now the homeowner said, And you, just as you judged favorably, so may God judge, God judge you favorably. That's a very nice little story. There are any sort of real problem. I mean, you can see the father getting frustrated, saying, I'm giving up all my property, so... Little ship won't inherit. But on the other hand, you know, you're supposed to pay wages on the day they're due. This person's been working for you for three years. Yeah. And no wonder he took three additional donkey loads of gifts and food. Some of his compensation for his failure. Mm. Mm. And uh, I think the significant thing is that it's used before he questions the labourer. They eat and drink and after they've done that, questions the labourer. So there's no question of not handing it over if he'd found out that the labourer had thought nasty thoughts about it. Mm. He's really um, working at a very high level right. to compensate. Tan Rabbanan. Masebe Chasid Echad, there was an incident involving a certain Chasid. She Pada Riva Chad Bat Israel, who ransomed a young Jewish girl from captivity. Vila Malon Hishkiva Tachat Marglotav, and when they came to the inn, he lay her down at his feet. That's a sign of marriage, isn't it? Not necessarily. The following morning, he descended and immersed himself and taught Torah to his disciples. When I laid her at my feet, what did you suspect me of? Amano. We said to ourselves, Shema Yesh Banu Talmud Sheino Batuk Larabiu. Perhaps there is among us a disciple who has not been sufficiently scrutinized, scrutinized, checked by master, so they wouldn't, you couldn't entrust the girl to us. And when I descended and immersed myself, of what did you suspect me? Because, I mean, he might have had intercourse with her, but I... And you'd need to wash mm-hmm. himself off. And become pure again. Amanu Shema Mipne Torah Haderech Era Keri Larabi, because of the we thought to ourselves because of the exertion of travel, the master experienced a seminal omission. Amalehem Avatar Kachaya, and the Chassid said to them, by the temple service, so it was. The Atem Kashem She. And as for you, just as you have judged me favorably, may the omnipresent judge you favorably. A third incident. I assume it's along the similar lines. Tanu Rabbanan, Pamachat Chotrach Davar Echad Letalmidech Achim Eto Mat Ronita Achat. One time a certain matter made it necessary for the sages to approach a certain non-Jewish noblewoman. 
He just says with a certain matron. Shekol gedolei Romi Metsuin Etla, who was frequented by all the patricians of Rome. What's that? Ah, oh, she's a madam. Well, it may be that. She may be a society hostess, or she may be... See, that, that you also had very important and influential... Um, they weren't quite prostitutes, um, courtesans. They were the women of culture who had influence. You know, they were witty and clever and intelligent, and they mixed all the best people and influential people mixed with them, so they had influence. Like that post woman, post office woman. (laughs) (laughs) You know, like, um, sort of like the royal mistresses in 18th century France, you know, who were able to dispose of... Mrs. Simpson. Yeah. Except Mrs. Simpson never really acquired influence. Didn't she? No. I mean, she was shuffled out of the way, but there were a couple of mistresses before her who had more influence because they had better social connections. Okay. Shall we keep going? And important husbands. Important husbands. Ah. But anyway, uh, there's just uh, a Go ahead. side note here. Please. During the time of Rabbi Yehoshua and his colleagues, In the years preceding and following the destruction of the temple, many women from the Roman upper classes expressed strong interest in Judaism. Several actually converted. Those who remained Gentiles attempted to provide assistance to the Jewish sages. It is related on several occasions that the sages took advantage of the counsel of these women and of their ability to serve as intermediaries between them and the Roman authorities. Got it. Amru Mielech. So they needed to go before this woman. They said to each other, who's going to go and represent us? Amalehem Rabbi Yoshua Mielech. Halach Rabbi Yoshua Vetamidav. Kevan Shehigia Lepetach Beta. As they approached the door of her house, Halach Tfilav Birchutz Arba Amot. He removed his tefillin at a distance of four amot. V'nichnas v'na'al ha'delet b'fnei hen. He entered and closed the door before them. So they couldn't go in mm. after him. Achar she'atza yarad v'tavol v'shana l'talmidav. After he left, he descended and immersed in the mikvah and taught his disciples. V'amar lahem. B'sha'ah she'chalat di tefillin b'me chashadatuni when I removed the tefillin, what did you suspect of? Amanu kasavu rabbi lo yikansu divrei kedushabim kom tum'ah. We said that your reason was that holy articles should not go into a impure place. Besha'ah shena'alti bameh chashadatuni. When I closed the door, what did you suspect me of? Amanu shema dava machut yesh beno levena. We said perhaps there is a confidential government matter between you and the woman. And when I descended and immersed in the mikvah, that's really the biggest one of the lot, isn't it? What did you suspect me? We said perhaps some spit came out of her mouth onto your clothing. Amalehem havaja kachaya. By the temple service, yes, it was like this. By tem, keshem shedan tuni lizchut, hamakom yadin etchem lizchut. And as for you, just as you judge me favorably, favorably, so may Hashem judge you favorably. And there's a little expansion here. The sages decree that the legal status of the Gentile is like that of a zav. Their bodily fluids transmit ritual impurity. And if she spat on his clothing mm. and they were together, that would be my case to go to the mixer. I see. And wash his clothes too. Mm. And wash his clothes too. Yeah. Um, so those three stories were based on 
uh, when Rabbi Yochanan said, judging one's fellow man favorably. Yep. Now we go back to other to the Mishnah. Mefanin truma to Rabbi Chule. So back in the Mishnah it said we may clear away truma, that is tahor, because it's not mukta. What was the full? Do you have the full thing of that, Peter? The full quote? On um, what? On um, we may clear away truma, etc. Oh, familiar. familiar. Yes, I'm sure there is. Ah, you may clear away trauma that's Tahor and Demai and Masurishon and Masashani. Oh, right, okay. Shita, it's obvious that trauma, which is Tahor, is not Muksa because the Kainim can eat it on the Shabbos. Uh, it's obvious. Law, no, it's not. Shricha de Mancha Beyad Israel, it's necessary where the truma rests in the possession of an Israel that is not a kohen. Mahu de Tema, Kevan de Lochazia Leia Sura, might have said, since it's not fit for him, because he's not a kohen, it's prohibited. Kamash Malan, the Mishra informs us, Kevan de Chazila Kohen Shapir Dame, since it's fit for a kohen, it's fine for a non kohen to move it as well. Or Demai, and Demai, uh, it can be cleared away because it's not Muksa. Demai. Halo Lei. Why? It's not fit for him to eat on Shabbos. Kevan, so the Gemara answers, Kevan to Im Ba'e Mafkar Lei Lenichse. Since if the owner so desired, he could renounce ownership of his possessions, Vahava Ani, the Chazi and become a pauper, and the def- Demai would then be fit for him. Hashta nami chazile. Now too, it is fit for him. And so he can move because it's become non muksa Ditnan. I feel that's stretching it just a little bit. He could renounce. Yeah. I mean, he's got this, he's, these possessions. He could renounce it. So we're going to treat him as if he has renounced it and is a problem. Mm. But anyway, it, it allows him to move it, and I'm in favour of moving. <laughs> and I'm, you know, and I'm in favour of uh, Rabbi Shimon's views on Mukta. Did now we learn in Mishnah Machilin et Hani Yim Demai the Etach Ach Sanya Demai we may feed paupers Demai and travelling soldiers Demai Vama Rav Huna. Tana Beit Shammai Omrim Ein Machlin Et Ha'aniyim Demai Beit Shammai says we may not feed paupers Demai Ve'et Ha'chasanya Demai Nor trailing soldiers Demai So this is Beit Shammai says this Ove'et Hillel Omrim Machlin Et Ha'aniyim Demai Ve'et Ha'achsaniya Demai Okay, so Hillel says you can feed them. Um, you know, being that it is food and some people eat it, whether they're poor or travelling soldiers or whatever. If someone rocks up to your door on Shabbos and says, I'm hungry, and you've got, you kind of, at the end of your supplies, go and get from the domain. But you can only get it, you can only use it for people in these categories. But the, therefore, you can. Move it. Hmm. If they fit in those categories. You can't move it unless they're paupers or soldiers. Because you're forbidden right. to handle it. And they're the only ones who can. So, let's say you didn't prepare for Shabbos properly. Hmm. In your... Let's say you, you had... Let's say you had poor people come to your house. Yes and travelling soldiers come to your house and they ate you out of house and home and all you've got is demise sitting there. Well, I mean, in a situation like that, you would leave the soldiers and the paupers. 
No, I mean, even, no, like, let's and say they were gone. The, you would eat the good the, the stuff. No, let's say they, they came for Shabbos dinner. Ah. And it's Shabbos lunch, mm. and they're not there anymore. They went back home. And you're left with And you're left with Demai. Demai. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking halachically. I don't know what your position would be. I really don't know. I know what I would do in a, in a practical sense. In a practical I'd sense. I'd just say, if it's food, I you can access, move it. I would access it. But that, I would would have thought that should be more, more the logic that should be spelled out. If it's food, you can move it. You can well, access it. I, I, I tend to agree with you. But apparently this isn't the view that's being taken here. Um, no. But what they're doing is they're trying to teach us specific lessons that relate to specific mm. forms of dedicated... For my solution, she needs like trauma talk. You can clear away my on whose tumor has been removed. Shita, that's obvious too. Lo, no. Tzricha shihikim will be bashibolim. It's necessary where one advanced the my in is. And only Tramat Maisa was taken from this Maisa Rishon. The law Nitzla Hameno Tramat Zola, but Tramat Zola was not taken from it. The Chi Hadamar Rabbi Yabah, who Amar Reish Lakish, and this in accordance with that which Rabbi Yabah said in the name of Rabbi Reish Lakish, Maisa Rishon, she Dimosh Ba Shibolin, Maisa Rishon, that one advanced in which the Levite preceded the priest. Say that again. With regard to the first tithe, in a case in which the Levite preceded the priest while the grain was still on the stalks. In uh-huh. other words, the okay. Levite has gone and taken his before uh-huh. the stuff was separated for the priest. Mat pator mi It's exempt from trumagodola. Shnemar, as it says, Veharemotem Mimenu Trumatashem Maser Min Hamaser. For it says, about my Shrishan, you shall separate from it Hashem's Truma, a tithe of the tithe. Uh, which we mean to say, Maser Min Hamaser, Amati Lecha, tithe of the tithe, uh, is what I, Hashem, have told you. Do you want to? go through his notes on this business of tithing and giving to the poor and the Levite preceding the priest. But not to what is on to the side of his tithe. Yes, I think it's worth going through that. Okay. Doubtfully tithed produce. Uh, What's the Hebrew for to say? Um, if I can read it. Demai Maisa. The E. Oh, where are you? Ba'e. Um, I need new glasses. Demai ba'e 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 makka lay nichse. The early commentators ask, why is the possibility of a person renouncing his property necessary in order to explain the reason that it is permitted to move doubtfully tied produce? It is sufficient to establish that it may be eaten by the poor. Some explain that the explanation involving the renouncing of property is indeed extraneous in this context, but that this discussion appears elsewhere in the Talmud where this rationale is required. Therefore, it is cited here in passing. Others explain that only if something is totally unfit for someone is the rationale employed that may be fit for others. Since doubtfully tithed produce will be fit for a person after Shabbat, after he tithes it, one sets it aside from use until then. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the Gemara cited the fact that he could renounce his property. Mm. The 
because unless you announced it, it would be muk, so you wouldn't be able to touch it. Right. And then one may feed the poor, doubtfully tired produce and soldiers. Various explanations were suggested for this halacha, the, for these halachot, which are subject to dispute in the Jerusalem Talmud. Some explain that these halachot apply to all poor people and all guests, even those who are meticulous and separate tithes from doubtfully tithed produce. The sages exempted doubtfully tithed produce given as charity from the obligation to separate tithes in order to increase the funds available for charity. Others rule that one must inform his guests and the poor that the food is doubtfully tithed produce mm. and anyone who wishes may separate the tithe. Mm. Rashi explains that Achsanya refers to the king's army, while others state that it refers to Jewish soldiers, who, like the poor, are exempt from tithing doubtfully produce, uh, tithe produce. Others say that a Gentile army may be fed with doubtfully tithe produce, and they are not considered to have benefited from the portion of the priest. And last, the Levite preceding the priest while the grain was still on the stalks. The proper way to separate truma is as follows. The owner of the grain first separates truma godola from the produce. Typically, the amount of the truma godola is one fiftieth or two percent of the crop, which would be given to a priest. The owner then tithes the remaining produce, separating nine, separating nine point eight percent of the original crop mm -hmm. and giving it to the Levite. Mm -hmm. The Levite separated <coughs> the truma of the tithe, one-tenth of what he received, or 0.98 of the original crop, mm -hmm. uh, which he gives to the priest. However, mm -hmm. if the Levite arrives at the granary before the priest, mm -hmm. he receives a full 10% of the grain which he retains even after Truma Godola is separated. In that case, the priest receives a total of only 2.8% instead of 2.9%. The Levite need not separate Truma Godola from the tithe. The Levite need not. That's very so good. you can see the museum rushing off to the storehouses to get there before the Tahani. To maximize their benefit. Mm. I mean, it's not big, but it's not big. But yeah, okay. Amale Rapavala Baye. The priest said you usually had more money than the Levine. There's less of them. So, yeah, the priestly families are often quite rich. Ihachi, if so, uh, meaning that the verse specifically exempts my traditional from Tumagadola. Afilu hitimo bakri nami liptar. Even if one advanced. Do you have the word advanced? I'm trying to find where we are. Rav Papa said to Rabbi. Ah, good. So, if so. If so, even if the Levite preceded the priest after the kernels of grain were removed from the stalks. So, that's a situation we've just described. Right. What does the next part say? And placed in a pile, the Levite should also be exempt from taking Truma Godola. Abaya said to him, With regard to your claim, the verse states, From all that is given to you, you shall set apart that which is the Lord's Truma. God's Truma, i.e. Truma Godola, must be taken from all the Levites. Uma Raita, and what have you seen? What did you see that led you to require Truma Godola from the first tide that was taken from grain in piles, and not from the first tide that was taken from grain on stalks? Mm -hmm. Abaya answers. I it it gun this is rendered as grain. The produce that was smoothed in a pile is grain. Baha'i lo itgan. 
and this produce still in the ears is not rendered as grain. Or Maisasheni Vichole, so one can clear away Maisasheni, consecrated produce that was redeemed. Shita, this is obvious. Lo, Tricha Shinatanet Akeren Velonatanet Achomesh. It's necessary where the owner gave the principal, <coughs> but he did not give the additional fifth. Ha Kamashmalan Dein Chomesh Me'akev. Thus, Mishra informs us that. Uh, the fifth does not hold back from being able to move it. Veha turmos hayabesh kole, and you can clear away dried turmos, the food for goats. Dav kayabesh aval lach lo, specifically dried turmos, but moist maitama. What's the reason? Kevan de marir lo achla, since it is bitter when moist, a goat would not eat it. That's it.